Hi guys, in this presentation, we shall learn about how to do multiplication without using star operator or multiplication operator. We have to think what is multiplication. Multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. Okay, let's see what I'm talking about. Suppose if I say that 2 into 3 is equal to 6. So 6 is related to 2 and 3. How? Let's see. You can write like 2 is added three times like 2 plus 2 plus 2 result is 6 or 3 is added two times 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 ultimately the answer is 10 so what's the logic is if i say that 5 into 2 what i'll do is i'll take 5 okay i have to add this 5 two times okay if i add two times i'll get 10 as an answer see here this is 5 one time this is five second time so how to develop this logic okay let's see there are two variables let it be a equal to five and b equal to three okay now i have to add five three times or three five times i'll, I'll take first case i have to add five three times so this is used for addition okay this is used to how many times which means i have to loop it okay see now how to loop it it's, it's a simple case see for what will write i equal to 0 i less than 3 and i plus plus okay now think this loop will run three times because here the conditions are from 0 to 3 which means 0 1 2 at third condition it will be failed so this loop will run three times in that three times i have to add five to itself so how can i do it it's simple right i'll take a variable called multiplication and i'll add a plus multiplication see i have a mul variable in which i have initialized value zero okay so initially mul value is zero so first i'll add a plus mul which means five plus zero so result is five okay since it loops three times this operation is repeated three times right so now mul has five a is five so five plus five will become ten okay up to here two times loop is over again here mul contains ten and a contains five addition of that result is 15 okay see here three times looping done and here condition fails and it is out of the loop now in the mul variable you have the answer 15 5 into 3 answer is also 15 so it is working right let's see with an example i have a variable called a result in which i have stored 0 and a number 1 which is of 10 and number 2 which is of 6 so multiplication of 10 and 6 the result will be 60 okay so this is the logic which we have discussed earlier in this uh, previous presentation and you can see that I am printing the result. Let's see what happens. See, we got the answer as 60. Okay, let's let's do with some big numbers and see whether it works or not. So I'll multiply 100 with 81. So our result should be 8100. Let's see. See, the answer is 8100. Okay. This is how multiplication without a multiplication operator is done in, in this program. Okay.